at 5 a.m. Welcome back. Mifflinburg High School's big homecoming game is tonight against Montoursville. And they're kicking things off with an Eyewitness News pep rally this morning. Our Anya Whitehead is live in Mifflinburg with the Wildcats. Anya? That's right, Chris and Kelly. What a better way to get ready for homecoming than with a pep rally Friday. They've been preparing all week. Now we're here with Nani, who's president of student government. Now, Nani, what have you guys been doing to prepare for homecoming? Well, um, Mifflinburg, we all know that homecoming is a time for the school to come together as one with the alumni and the students. So we kicked off a really great spirit week, starting on Monday with Hat Day. We went all the way to Tuesday with Twin Day. It was really great to see people matching and showing their camaraderie with their fellow um, student mates. Then on Wednesday, we went right into Hawaii Day, which was really beachy for our fall theme that we had going on. And then we jumped right into um, Thursday, which was our Halloween Day. So really spooky, really fun going on there. And then Friday, which is today, blue and white, so that we can have that school spirit to go out there and get my tourist bill. But more importantly, I just want everybody to know that our crowning of our queen and king will be on uh, 6.30 tonight at our pregame show. And then after that, we're going to move right into our homecoming parade at 5.25. And I think it's just great. I think it's a great, a great way to have our homecoming. And our homecoming dance is at 8 o'clock tonight. Or Saturday awesome. night. Yep. So Amanda, you're a cheerleader. You guys have a lot of responsibility. What's it like being a cheerleader? Well, I really like cheerleading. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy dancing, cheering, learning new stunts with my team. It's become a really big part of my life, and I don't know what I would do during high school without it. Like, I don't know my life without it. Um, I've been doing it for six years. It's my fifth year in varsity, so like down middle, you can start when you're in middle school. So I started with that, and we've just progressed ever since, and it's just been a big part of my life. Amazing. And now Kiara, tennis, how are they doing this year? Well, we did a great season. Everyone was positive and enthusiastic about it. I've been on the ten tennis team for four years. Our first girls tennis team was my freshman year, and we were improving and keep going as we keep aging, and everyone's doing amazing. We have our district doubles this weekend, and next weekend we have our district, or we have our district singles this weekend and district doubles next weekend, and we're super excited. So come out and support us, and if you feel like joining the tennis team, then sign up on that that's awesome. And now, Mac, golf, how did they do this year? Uh, this season, it went pretty well. Uh, record, I guess, could have been better, but we had a good time. Uh, we sent a district, uh, we sent a, a member to districts. Uh, they made it to, I think they're number three in districts. And we had fun, and it was a great year. So, yeah. Amazing. So, Chris and Kelly, as you can tell, there's a lot of things happening right here at Mifflinburg. They're going to have a great homecoming game tonight against Montoursville, and that game is tonight at 7 here at Mifflinburg High School. Anya Whitehead, Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Anya. Always love featuring all the different you know, sports and, and all the different clubs and things like that. And also, you know, wishing the, the team the best uh, luck tonight at their homecoming game. And I love how we're able to go throughout the entire area. So every week mm -hmm. we're going somewhere new. It's so exciting. So best of luck, like you said, to all the teams mm -hmm. playing tonight. We'll be right back with today's Health and Consumer News. After